Hello and welcome to News X Auto. My name is Shiraz and that's the Volvo XC60 for you. And you know what? We are experiencing the harshest Indian summers yet. So I'll get inside the car and then tell you all about it. Not the summer, uh, but the car. In fact, before I do that, you know, I should at least show you the rear seats. And then of course, I'll get inside. Okay. And talk about the car more. All right, let's drive. See, like all my other reviews, even in this review, I would not read out the brochure like most reviewers do, okay? See, the idea is to uh, tell you things, you know, which you can't ascertain uh, yourself by, you know, going to a showroom and taking, uh, you know, a short test drive, all right? So, brochure is something that anyone can read uh, you can do that too and i'm sure you would have done that already you can go to a showroom and see how this fits you and you know the seat comfort and of course you can take a sh you know short test drive uh, i'll tell you things which uh, you know one can only ascertain over a period of time all right and of course uh, where your expertise as a reviewer uh, comes into the picture so Again, you already know that this is either as comfortable or even more comfortable than everything else in this segment. Okay. Uh, you know that it has all the power that you would ever need in India. All right. And so I would not get into those details. All right. And, uh, you know, the nuances of Gearbox. I might still, uh, you know, share a couple of lines. So anyway, you know, this was just to give you a perspective, perspective as to how, what you can expect from this review. So see, first things first, if you are watching this, you are already interested in this car. That means you find this good looking and this is a brilliant looking car. All right. Now, uh, although design is subjective, uh, what I'm, I'm sure, you know, even a blind person would say that this is a very beautiful looking car. All right. Now, uh, and I've said this in my other reviews that although it should not matter what others think of your car but if it does to you and if you are uh, perhaps concerned about uh, whether this would attract you know lots of attention on the road because there are people who love that there are people who just absolutely abhor that okay they do not want uh, you know uh, lots of attention on the road perhaps that is why you know you are interested in buying this car okay and because you know you do not want the kind of attention a mercedes or a bmw or an audi would get you now having said that uh, those cars are quite commonplace all right so it can be said that, you know what, uh, it's a common sight, so you don't get that much of attention. But anyway, you know, let me tell you that if you think that you are not going to attract attention in this car, uh, you would be highly mistaken. Okay, this does turn heads. People notice you. And I think because the Germans have become too commonplace now, okay, uh, people around you, they... Uh, you know look at this car and they say all right you know what yeah this is a premium car of course and uh, but then they have that look of admiration on their faces it's not a look of uh, contempt <laughs> all right so if that matters to you that is what you can expect okay when you buy this car now uh, when you get inside again it's it's beautifully uh, you know appointed it it's amazingly comfortable all right the seats are amazing uh, and before i forget the sound system is the absolute best okay in this segment in fact uh, uh you know under a crore rupees this is the best music system all right and like i said that this is as comfortable or even more comfortable than the competition okay at this price all right 
uh, the the overall visibility is fantastic. Like I am just five one. Okay, my inseam is twenty uh, seven inches. Why is it important? So that you know that uh, you know. Uh, Although the seats are powered, and you know, I am sure even someone who's four ten would be able to find a commanding position. Uh, but then you should know that if you know, I am at five one uh, with a twenty seven inch inseam, you know, comfortable. I you know, I uh, could find uh, a commanding position. So would uh, people of almost all shapes and sizes. Okay. Okay. The GoPro has shut off. I don't know why. So I'll quickly. wind this up before gopro starts acting up again so i was telling you that the all around visibility is great and of course you have this brilliant okay 360 degree camera which actually makes life much easier okay in chaotic city traffic conditions so the crux is it is beautifully easy to drive in the city okay now in fact i would say that this is all the car that you would need in india it's the perfect size all right perfect size for the city perfect size for the highways as well okay there is good road presence and as far as the stability is concerned okay it is second to none all right and i've already made a cruising speed rpm and nvh video okay you can see that this is the most relaxed car i have tested yet okay it does what at 100 km per hour in top gear uh, you know the rpm is just around 1400 rpm the 3.3 crore rupee lexus lx 500 d and that's a diesel okay that did it uh, you know so that does the same at uh, 100 km per hour even that cruises at 1400 rpm uh the range rover sport v6 2.2 crore rupee vehicle okay uh that cruises at 1500 rpm if i'm not wrong at 100 km per hour yes 1500 rpm all right so uh, you know at this price the most relaxed uh, highway cruiser uh, the nvh levels are fantastic so again the crux is the perfect city car and the perfect highway car and like i said uh you would never feel any uh, dearth of power okay there is enough power uh, for all reasons and seasons okay you can drive this car like this as well okay it's beautifully planted okay you always feel in control and it sounds nice <laughs> all right and thank you volvo for not giving too many drive modes in fact it has none okay you don't need that is what i have been saying okay you don't need drive modes okay you don't need pedal shifters if the car is powerful enough okay the engine and gearbox combo is good enough all right you would never need to shift into the manual mode or use pedal shifters okay it does have a manual mode okay you would seldom you know you would never use it you would never uh, you know find uh, any reason to use it in fact uh, the only uh, you know chance you'll get or perhaps you would want to use the manual mode would be while taking it off the road even then you would not need it uh, uh, but then you know you might want to uh, stick it into a lower gear and uh, yeah take that off road section so this is an all wheel drive vehicle and again one of the reasons why you would not buy a sedan at this price and you would buy this okay this is not no vehicle in this class uh, okay in this segment is a hardcore off roader okay uh most are all wheel drive vehicles so they are essentially supposed to see the idea behind all wheel drive vehicles is uh, you know uh, where it snows a lot okay uh, there you need the traction in all four wheels all right and of course in india what that translates to is you can do some amount of off roading 
वे द सडान और टू व्हील ड्राइव व्हीकल्स ओके टू व्हील ड्राइव कॉम्पैक्ट क्रॉस ओवर्स ओके द प्रिटेंडर्स वुड नॉट गो ऑल व्हील ड्राइव व्हीकल्स वुड गो देयर एंड ऑफ कोर्स दे यू नो ब्रिंग यू बैक एज वेल so uh, what about the fuel efficiency see i have been getting somewhere around uh, anywhere between 9 to 11 okay uh, of course that includes a lot of uh, testing uh, okay uh, uh, normal cruising as well and uh, uh, you know acceleration test as well my sister she has been getting a consistent she is a doctor okay and doctors do not drive like maniacs okay and i'm sure there are a few who do uh, but then uh, i can tell you that my sister does not drive like that or if she does she does not tell me uh, she has been getting uh, somewhere around uh, 10 to 12 kilometers to a liter which is fantastic okay uh, the competition uh, okay they are mostly in single digits okay like somewhere around anywhere between 6 to 8 kilometers to a liter now uh, speaking about the competition in india okay for example a merc glc uh, glc's routine service will cost you around or around a lakh or over it okay this ones okay my sister has taken uh, a package for 5 years okay for 1.65 lakh rupees wherein the services are said to be free but then again you know you need to pay a sum on for example she just had the first service done she just paid 2500 rupees yes 2500 rupees okay so uh, again i'll cover that in uh, you know that long term uh, ownership experience video but say for example even if she spend she you know uh, they ask her to pay like 5000 or 10000 rupees on each service okay uh, and the total becomes say for example 2 lakh rupees including that 1.65 lakh rupees it would still be around you know uh, the price of two services for a glc okay or even less than that so see this is what you buy this car okay in india because you are getting okay uh, the same comfort the same luxury and perhaps more safety than uh, the germans and it is not a hassle to own okay it would not make you uh, file bankruptcy all right so yes that was the long and short of it right now all right please do let me know if you have any questions that you would want me to answer right away in the comment section or uh, you want me to cover in uh, you know the long term ownership experience video that i'll be making soon and yeah guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed already please do so and i shall see you soon in the next one thank you so much for watching